a young man has been arrested for smuggling eight barrels of premix fuel from the northern region to Yeji. It's barely a week since some NPP constituency executives seized three trucks of premix fuel there for the reason that they have not received theirs in the last few months. DCE of Pru East District, Joshua Kweku Abonkra, says most of these smuggled products are sold to fishermen, fishermen at a higher cost. Uh, this was a situation that just happened this morning. Based on what happened last week, uh, premise fuel that has been crossed to the other bank has been smuggled back to Yeji. And this morning, 10 drums have been confiscated. Uh, somebody smuggling the premise from the other bank to Yeji to sell it at a higher cost. In this case, I'll just hand it over to the police so that uh, the law will take its own course based on the establishment of the law of the premise. The issue is that sometimes when they cross it to the other side, they come to sell it at a higher cost instead of the price given by the government as to sell it uh, seven cities, 50 pesos. They bring it back uh, or smuggle it back to Yeji to sell it at a higher cost of sometimes 12 cities, 13 cities and 15 cities, uh, which of course is not good for those who want to use uh, the product and so therefore we are advising that from this day onwards as this one has been confiscated anybody caught in that act the law will take its own course that's just the DCE. Let's go on in the line now and speak to him for some more information. DCE for the area, Joshua Kweku Abonkrase. Thank you so much for your time uh, this afternoon. Who is this gentleman you have arrested? Yeah, good afternoon to your listening, uh, your cherished viewers and your listeners. Yeah, uh, it was yesterday in the morning when I was in the office that I, I came out to uh, make my driver go and take some items for me, only to find out uh, some barrels of fuel uh, were being carried in the side cycle. In fact, upon my questioning, I found out that there were premise fuel that were smuggled from the northern region to Yeji to be sold at the higher cost. So, for the loss of the uh, premise fuel, I quickly called the police commander and handed over that gentleman to uh, them for their investigation. Who is this gentleman? Who is he? Yeah, actually, I did not ask their name because uh, there was some kind of tension that was uh, mapping up. And so, therefore, I quickly called in the police. Uh, so, as we speak now, I am in Sunyai. Uh, we are we are seeing our former regional minister also. I could not uh, get their name. Now, I'm asking for that detail because uh, not so long ago, I think this was last week, there was, a, there was a similar incident about, not a similar incident, but there was an incident about premix fuel. And I'm asking oh. be, because this, don't you think that this would help you to trace the source uh, where this gentleman got the fuel from? Then it will help you deal with the bigger problem of premix fuel smuggling. Yeah, actually, it's, it's, it's a fact. Uh, um, but when I asked, yeah, uh, three days, uh, that was on Thursday, uh, I had a call from a, a, a Linko company that they have loaded some two trucks of a famous fuel that were supposed to be uh, brought to Yeti. In fact, I waited and waited. I did not see those tankers. Uh, only to find out that it has been uh, diverted through a table to come down so and to the northern region uh, a village called uh Caprai. so when i asked the guy that was where he went and bought the tour and that has been the usual activity of those boys smuggling the premise to Yeji, to be sold at a higher cost instead of the price given by the government as uh, to sell it seven cities 50 pesos Mm. When they bring it back to Yeji, they sell it at a cost of uh, 12 cities, 13 cities, 14 cities, and sometimes 15 cities, which of course tarnishes the image of the government of the day. I, 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 based on what has happened so far, it is very safe to say that what this gentleman you, have, you arrested had is just a drop in the ocean as far as the bigger problem is concerned. This problem is not starting today. And this is a problem that you've known about for a very long time. What is it that the, 
Assembly has done about it so far? Well, what are the plans really to deal with the premix fuel smuggling once and for all? Yeah, that took over office last week, Tuesday. And so, therefore, it has been an usual problem, a persistent one, of course, in Egypt for about a year back. Uh, and so, therefore, to curtail this problem, I think that the supply to Yeji, as requested by the people of Yeji, should always be done by the uh, premier's board to help us be able to uh, curtail this problem. Uh, most of the times, Yeji itself is a bigger market that uh, everybody around uh, Yeji come to, uh, uh, to sell their fish. And so, therefore, the quantity needed uh, by the boat operators, the what we call inland canoe owners and the rest, it is so high. In fact, we were promised that at every week we will be given four tankers of premise fuel. But as I speak to you for about a week now, sometimes we don't even get fuel at all. Until I took over office uh, that we had to, based on an incident, the, 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 the uh, constituency executive and the youth mobilized to uh, uh, confiscate some, uh, what they call it, tankers that were meant for uh, northern region. And so, therefore, I want to plead with authority that, uh, as we have requested, mm. in fact, sometimes I can even say the four isn't enough even for EG. If we could be given five, six in a week, I think uh, it would be better than to at least uh, create some kind of artificial suit so okay. so that so, this boy so could you... run to... Mm. So you believe that what's happening is that these smugglers are creating artificial shortage so they can sell their premix fuel at a higher price. And this has yes. been going on for a while. Last week, last week, some members claiming to be uh, uh, executive of the NPP in, the, in, the, in, the, in Yeji stopped uh, some three trucks, as I indicated earlier. What is the update on that incident? Yeah, Matilda, are you say that uh, what happened last week was an unfortunate incident. I condemn it because it is very bad. But at least uh, as executives, they couldn't have taken the laws into their own hands to do what they did. But uh, from uh, investigation, they are saying they are doing that because the premise meant for Yeji are same premise that are being sent to the north. What is in the fact, latest on that story? Yeah, in fact, uh, we, we, uh, we have sent a report that is supposed to be forwarded to the national team so that uh, they, they will take it from there. Okay, what is in that report? I mean, what, did, 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 was that, what, what, were those uh, trucks uh, legitimately theirs or were they smuggled premix fuel? No, those trucks weren't meant for Yeji. They were supposed to be sent to the north. Okay. We have a village called Makango, a village called Akrapi, a village called uh, 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 Pejai uh, in the Pandai district. Uh, and so, therefore, those trade tracks were confiscated by the constituency executives. But finally, uh, they, 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 they meant to, to cross to the other side. But one of the tankers, uh, they, they, they sold the fuel at the age. <laughs> so that, that even makes it a bit more complicated because these are tracks that were meant for the, uh, for the northern region. One of them was sold uh, in Yeji. Uh, basically, what, what, what does that even mean to the entire uh, cycle? Yeah, that is why I'm saying that that act that happened last week was a bad practice. We, right. we, we totally condemned that. And like I have said, we have forwarded the report to the national security to take it from there. I see. So thank you very much for your time this afternoon. DCE for Pru East, the Joshua Kweku Abonkra, they're giving us an update on what happened in Yeji last week where uh, some party executive in the region uh, seized some three trucks carrying premix fuel meant for the northern region. He says that people are smuggling uh, premix fuel and creating artificial shortage so they can sell the fuel at a higher price and that national security is looking into this matter.